Let's take a look at how we can leverage Replication Manager to support an application-aware snapshot on an NFS data store that is mounted to a vSphere host. In this particular case, the workload in question is going to be an Oracle workload, which is going to run during our test and during the creation of our snapshot. And if we take a look at the details around that, we can see that this particular virtual machine is associated with NFS Data Store 01, and it has a percentage of storage allocated to it. If we take a look at its console, we can see there's active I.O. that's currently being generated. I'm actually use, utilizing a technology called Swingbench, which is an Oracle workload simulator. As you can see, we're around 6,300 transactions per minute, which is a, a moderate-sized workload, a fairly aggressive workload for this particular virtual machine. Now, over here we have a console into our Replication Manager application. This is essentially our single snapshot management for all supported platforms for a variety of applications, Exchange, SQL, um, in this case, Oracle, in this case, uh, NFS data stores running on a VMware platform. I have set up a, a Linux agent, specifically what's required in the NFS use cases. I've set up a, a Linux agent to be my replication manager proxy on the network, and it essentially will communicate with this particular host, which is orchestrating the replication manager job. We've got an application set that's been defined. This is going to go out and specifically take a snapshot of a given NFS data store, the one that we've talked about earlier in this demonstration. The next thing we need to do is go off and create a job. So we'll leverage the application set that's been predefined, NFS-SNAP. and We'll give this a quick job name. We'll call it NFS-SNAP1. Now we need to uh, specify read-write because that someone's going to access this read writable snapshot, we're actually going to add a VM into the inventory based on the snapshot. We're going to also specify the Solaris uh, control station interface that we're going to be communicating with. I'm going to change the mount host here from the Linux proxy to actually to one of the ESX servers that's actually going to mount this read writable application or snapshot. And I'm going to create it as a manually driven job. I could also schedule it if I like and run it periodically, but in, the, in my particular demo I just want to be able to access um, and, and run this particular job uh, manually to create that snapshot. And if we peruse we can see all the details associated with this particular job. Now once that's been off and created, let's take a look at the properties and they'll reflect um, all the same information that we just entered. Next, let's actually kick the job off and run it. Now, Replication Manager is an excellent technology to take an application-aware snapshot. Effectively, what it's doing is it's going off and communicating with the server in question, which is the VMware vSphere host. It's actually quiescing the application, quiescing the file system. Um, in this case, it's communicating to the vSphere host, it's communicating to the Solera control station, and it's going to take an application-aware snapshot it's going to take that quiesce snapshot, release that application, and then let that application go back to where it was prior to the application aware snapshot. Now if we look at the um, properties of the snapshot, we can see that we have a snap mounted to our, our vSphere host. If we click on dot .24, which is my vSphere host, we can now see a snapshot that's been automatically mounted to the system and it's called ERM underscore NFS data store one. If we browse this data store, what we'll see here is an exact copy of the production NFS data store. Now I'm going to add this particular VMX file. I'm going to add this VM to my existing inventory. Now I'm going to change the name. Uh, we'll call it um, RTP Lab Oracle Dev Test 01. Now I would want to further customize this before I bring it online, things like change its IP address, and if it was a Windows host, in this case it is, uh, change its uh, security identifier and so forth. But um, in this particular example, I'm going to actually specify it on an isolated network and bring it up in a completely isolated environment. So at this point I can actually power it on and we'll see this host come up and be up and running and online. And 
if you can imagine, this is highly useful for um, development test environments where we might want to bring up exact copies of a production workload uh, for rigorous testing, regression testing, as well as um, used in combination with backup and replication uh, methodologies.